Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. In today's video, we are going to do the sentiment analysis in Power BI. So how can we do that? What are the different steps that you are going to perform in order to do the sentiment analysis in Power BI? I'm going to let you know everything in this video. So please stay tuned with me till the end of this video. So what is sentiment analysis? Sentiment analysis is the use of natural language processing, text analysis, computational linguistics and biometrics to systematically identify, extract and quantify and study effective states and subjective information. Now we can perform this same into Power BI using advanced analytics. How we can do that? That's what I'm going to show you in this video. So basically, you can perform multiple actions in Power BI. Then you can get your confidence score or even you can extract the text phrases. Then you can use them in your reports as per your needs. So I'm going to show you with the help of one JSON file that I have in which I have one paper review data. I'm going to show you how you can get the data from that file and how you can get your confidence score or your text phrases. So let's head over to my Power BI desktop and I'm going to show you in this one. Over here, I'm on my Power BI desktop. So first of all, I'll go into get data and in the get data, I'll click more. Over here, you can see this is JSON file option. Connect with this. This is my review file. I'm going to get it over here. Now what I'm going to do I'm going to transform my data over here and for that first of all you can see I have some of the decisions over here whether it's been accepted or not I have my paper ID and after that lastly I have this paper review column so I'm going to expand this and expand to new rows over here now you will see I have all the records now I'm going to again expand it load more rows over here so I'll just click OK and here you will see I have all the data but notice over here, I have this data in two different languages. So over here, you can see I have the language code. So I'm going to choose only English from this. So let me select English, click OK. And these are the only rows that I have over here. Now, in order to perform our text analytics or sentiment analysis, what we have to do first, we have to choose our column or the column where your text or the reviews are there. So I'm going to choose this paper review text column over here and then I'm going to click text analytics click on this if you haven't signed in into your account probably it's going to ask you to sign in so please don't forget to sign in and here you will get the multiple options one is detect language second is extract key phrases and third is score sentiment so detect language we don't need it right now but if you would like to perform that action that you can also do we are going to do the last two First, let's do the score sentiment so that we can get how much positive or negative is the score. Or here you will also get the same information. Measure the positive or negative sentiment of words or phrases. Sentiment is rated on a scale of 0 to 1 with 1 being the most positive. Here you have to select your column where you would like to do that. And as we have already selected our this review text, so we are going to do over here. Click OK. It would take some time and here it's going to ask you about your permissions so basically whether you want to apply some organizational privacy or not i'm going to ignore it over here but please read it carefully before click save option over here here you can see it's been done so let's go to the last column over here score sentiment so you have your score on a scale of zero to one one means highest that means it's absolutely positive score and zero means the lowest one.
Now I'm going to do this again. So I'm again going to click on this text analytics over here. Again, it would take some time. Now this time I'm going to extract key phrases. Click on this one. It's again going to populate some information for you so that you can know what is this measure is actually doing. And here it's saying shift through text and surface important phrases in your data. Now you can over here select something if you would like to or you can provide your language ISO code. So I can do that. My language ISO code is EN and if I want to uh, put some text over here I can do that. Otherwise you can just click on this select your column name and here you can select your column name which is our paper review text. Just click OK. And here you can see that it has extract the key phrases but you don't need to check that. Check always this column extract key phrases dot key phrases. Here you will get exact key words over there rather than phrases. From this also it has extracted those words that you can use into your further analytics. Now I'm not going to do anything else. I'm just going to close and apply. That's all you need to do over here. Now if you would like to use this into your report or into your any visualizations, you can use it. So now our data has been loaded and you can see this on your right hand side fields pane. We have all the columns over here. So what we can do quickly, I can quickly create a table and show you how it's actually going to work. So based on this score, you can now further apply conditional formatting. So what you can do, you can come here, you can go to the conditional formatting and here you will see where you would like to actually apply the conditional formatting. So I want to apply on score sentiments and what I want over there, I want to apply some of the icons. So I'll go over there and under the icons, you will see automatically it's appearing. But if you would like to go to advanced, you can go over here, click on this advanced control and here it's going to appear. Now you can choose from a variety of icons what you would like to choose, whether you want to choose this or your traffic signal light or anything else. Everything is all there. So I'm going to choose this one. And here I can see uh, select my percentage, like whether if it's 0 to 33, it's going to be this. If it's 33 to this, it's going to be this and so on. So that's what you can do over here. Click OK. If you want to change it to percentage to number or anything else, please feel free to do that. It's just for the representation purpose over here only. So now you will see everything is being settled down over there. So guys, this is all about the sentiment analysis in Power BI or the text analytics, how you can perform, what you need to do. And if you would like to know more, if you would like to watch some more exciting videos, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the Power BI latest updates and videos. See you in the next video.